This is a script that we ran in a face-to-face -face master class with 30, uh, 30, 40 students in digital education for the first lesson of the semester. We wanted uh, to know a little bit about the students and to have them reflect about learning. These are students who have never really studied anything about pedagogy before. Um, so we decide, designed the script, uh, which was actually interspersed with um, a lot of slides and lecturing. So we started with a quiz that we could see um, some of their ideas about learning. Um, then we asked them, what is something that is very difficult for you to learn? And we looked at that together. Then we um, used the position of that, which you'll see in a, in a moment, to uh, create these groups. So we basically automatically created groups that put their items far away from each other. And we put them together and we said, well, given the thing that's hard to learn, and given all the information you've just uh, received about ways of learning, um, how could uh, the person you're working with learn the thing that uh, he or she is struggling with? Um, and then finally, um, we looked at these um, in the whole class. Now, uh, in this case, we chose to switch between frog activities and the lecture using a keynote on, his, uh, on the projector. We could have put all the slides into Frog, but in this case, he had a lot of videos that he wanted to show, and there was no easy way um, to do that. So I'm going to show you now the script. Um, we have uh, four virtual students logged in. So the teacher starts the script, and the students uh, see this um, individual survey. So each student might uh, um, put in some answers. And uh, while the students are filling in the survey, um, the teacher has a live view of the survey. And once the students are finished, um, in this case, because it's a live class and we want the students to look um, onto the teacher in front of the classroom rather than on their laptops, when we have these um, whole class activities, um, we do not show them in the teacher, in the student view, um, but only in the teacher's uh, view that is uh, shown on the projector. So this is um, configurable. Now the second um, task was to um, determine something that is difficult to learn. So they had this view here. Um, this is just an image in the background. And we asked them, what is the topic of something that's hard for you to learn? And uh, why was it hard? So I might put in Russian. The grammar was very complex. And once I add it, I get this box here which I can locate anywhere I want. So in this case, I'll say it's because of the skill or topic. Once the students have um, added, and they could add more than one item, but we asked them to at least add one item, uh, we can go to the next activity. And uh, again, this is shown in the teacher's view. Uh, so on the projector, he would be showing all of their items, and he could discuss uh, why you put it in a certain place and so on. In this case, we chose to show the student's name on the items, which made it much easier um, to ask uh, people why they put certain things in certain places. But of course, this is also configurable. Now, for the next activity, we'll use the distance uh, between items to optimize the group formation. So uh, we want to have groups where they put items far apart from each other. And we see here um, the two groups, group one and group two. They have a, a chat. And uh, what's a bit interesting is that in this configuration, you cannot move your own item. So in this case, I'm out and uh, I cannot move my own item. However, I can move uh, Andrea's item. And so these are technologies that the teacher had just been lecturing about. And in this case, unicycling, I don't think a MOOC for unicycling is very useful, but drill and practice probably is going to be the thing that's helpful. And so by forcing the student to move the other person's item, uh, we're hoping to um, encourage a little bit of um, discussion in the chat and, and thinking. Uh, once the students are done with this, the teacher moves on to the final activity where, um, again, uh, he can see all of the items and uh, where they've been placed. Um, in our case, actually, most of the students chose uh, uh, AR, VR, uh, probably because we saw a very interesting uh, virtual reality video um, just be before um, uh, doing this activity. So I guess it's a great um, example of priming effect. Okay. 
So in total, although this um, graph as I played it was just a few minutes, this took about an hour because there was so much um, lecturing um, interspersed. Um, but I think um, doing this uh, in this way, as opposed to just having a, an hour full of lecturing, probably was uh, quite a bit more interesting and uh, efficient.